Learn a language with Gemini for free. Hi everyone, back again with another amazing tool for you. You know Gemini, let's learn English with it. You can also learn another language. Link will be in the description, no worries. Let's practice and let's ask what it can do. You can ask I, for a lot of Yes, I can speak English. Comply, in so fact, English is the eyes. primary language I communicate in. How can I learn English with you? Give me examples, practical ones, please. I'd be happy to help you learn English. Here are some ways we can work together. Conversation practice. We can have vocabulary building. I can introduce you to new words and phrases and help you practice using them in context. If you're unsure about a particular grammar point, feel free to ask. I can explain the rule and give you examples. Read interesting things together. Articles, news stories, or even short stories. Listen to English media, podcasts, music, or movie clips. We can discuss what you hear and practice pronunciation. Here are some additional tips for learning English. Surround yourself with English. Listen to English music and podcasts. Watch English movies and TV shows, and read English books and articles. Find a language exchange partner. This is a great way to practice speaking with a native speaker. I want to learn about asking for and giving directions. Can you teach me the vocabulary first with images and then move on to the dialogue? Absolutely. Let's tackle asking and giving directions together. Here's a vocabulary lesson with image. Asking for directions. Excuse me. This is a polite way to get someone's attention. Do you know how to get to? This is a general way to ask for directions to a specific place. Is there a nearby? You can use this to ask about specific landmarks like a bank, library, or park. Could you give me directions to? This is a more direct way to ask for someone to explain how to get somewhere. Giving directions. Sure, no problem. This is a simple way to offer help. It's right around the corner. Use this if the place is very close. Go straight ahead for blocks. This indicates how many blocks you need to walk in a straight line. Turn left or right on street. This tells the person which way to turn and onto which street. You'll see a on your left or right. This helps the person identify a landmark. It's on the next corner. This indicates the place is at the upcoming intersection. Prepositions of place on used for streets and corners in used for buildings and neighborhoods at used for specific locations like a bus stop or train station next to some vocabulary let's practice imagine you're giving directions to a friend who wants to find the bakery one friend excuse me do you know how to get to the bakery two you sure no problem it's right around the corner three friend great is it on this street four you no you need to turn left on elm street Five, friend, left on Elm. Okay. Six, you, go straight for two blocks. You'll see a coffee shop on your right. The bakery is right next to it. Let's do an exercise with the prepositions, a gap filling exercise. And let's do uh, an example dialogue exercise. Also. If you want to talk to a native, you have this app which is called Tandem. I have a tutorial on it, of course. Have a look at it, you will love it. Based on the reading passage to test your comprehension of asking for directions. Can you see the potential of learning a language here? This is very, very good. These are only examples of the things you can ask it to learn the language. It's a very rich resource. So now practice, practice, practice and enjoy it. If you like this video, do check out my channel. You will find so many other tutorials on amazing tools to learn languages, some more specific than others. Have a look, choose, watch the tutorials and make the best choice. So if you like the video, do like, subscribe and hit that notification button so that I can keep on bringing you the best free tools for you and your projects. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for now.